When animating in Moho, at least in previous versions, you always had to be careful not to get floating bones. And here's what I mean by this. We have an animation here. It's playing out. And let's say at frame 78, I wanted to come in now and add another dip. So really quick, I can just add a slight dip like so. So it kind of comes down like this. And maybe I just have him go out a little bit like that. And then at 84, we'll have him come back up, lean forward a little bit. And now here, I want him to wave. So we'll just bring the arm up like so, and we're going to have him wave. So it kind of looks like this. Here's the problem, though, as you can probably already see. Even though I have this dip occurring and I wanted the arm to stay down by his side, like I thought it would be during this point, what happened was I didn't lock my arm bone down, and I haven't for quite some time, not until frame 48. That's the last time keyframes have been placed for that arm. So you have this floating arm effect occur as he does his animation. Now in previous versions, let me just undo what I've done here so we can have a clean slate. You could, if you wanted to, let's say at this point, click on your arm bones to insert keyframes to ensure they're locked. That way then when you go to frame 78, it'll just go from that point to that point. You could also, if you wanted to in previous versions, and this still applies here, is use Command F. When I use Command F or Control F on Windows, that will lock all of your bones in place, freezing them with keyframes. So all of this is useful, but the Auto Freeze Keys feature in Moho 12 makes this process even easier. If you turn this on, now if we go back here to this example, I'm just going to lean him back like this to dip and down a little bit. You can see what happens here is keyframes are applied for every single instance of these bones. So if I click on this bone, you can see that keyframes have been applied. Same for this bone, same for the head bone. No matter what you do with what bone, as long as auto freeze keys are selected, poses will be applied for every single bone channel. So now I could go to frame 78. We could have him go up, over, and we can bring him up with no issues with our keyframes or floating bones because with auto freeze keys, that is now in place. You may want to turn auto freeze keys off sometimes. There could be times where you don't want to key all your bones and you just want to move one bone. That's fine. It's really easy to turn on and off. You can turn it off and then you can come over here and you can do this. And you can see now he's going to dip starting here at frame 78 versus frame 83 because we now have that turned off. So it's all a matter of preference and you now have more control and power when it comes to your rigs in Moho 12. If you'd like more information, tutorials, or to purchase Moho, visit moho.smithmicro.com. <laughs>